Welcome back. I hope you're gassed and revved up to go for the next segment. Fuel prices are at an all-time high and motorists are literally feeling the pinch. It is imperative that we must now learn to reduce the vehicle running cost by adapting efficient driving habits. If followed to the latter, it will reduce your average fuel consumption close to 15 to 20%. Sometimes you lug around with unwanted luggage and clutter in the car, ranging from suitcases, boxes, used service parts, oils and lubes. These items add significant amount of weight to the overall mass of the car, making the engine to work harder and subsequently increases your fuel consumption of your car. Ensure that you service your vehicle regularly to ensure it runs smoothly. If you do not follow the required interval, then the oil mixes with dirt, forming sludge. Hence, mechanical parts like valves and camshafts begin to grind on each other, creating loss of efficiency. Items like fuel filters need to be replaced frequently to avoid contamination of the fuel system by residue that eventually blocks the injectors in the fuel pump. Driving with ease goes a long way in improving your overall fuel efficiency, as you are supposed to rev the vehicle gently and let the gears shift early. Over revving causes a surge in fuel pressure, which in the long term may affect the working of the fuel pump. When you drive gently, the car will pick the right gear and will ensure that the engine runs on optimal efficiency. In the same light, do not overspeed as once you exceed 100 km an hour, wind resistance becomes high and the engine has to work extra hard to maintain that high speed. The seatbelt is a primary safety equipment placed on all cars from the late 60s to help restrain passengers from being thrown out of the vehicle during an impact. Over the years, seatbelts have evolved to become the most critical safety gadget in the car. Studies have shown that use of seatbelts reduces vehicle-induced fatalities by 60% and in most countries have made it mandatory for all vehicle occupants to wear the seatbelts lest still be fined heavily for not having it on. If you're in the market for a heavy-duty truck, then the FC500 surely should tick all your boxes. But for that and much more, let's join Mr. Muli, who's the GM at Hino Nairobi. He'll shed more light on Hino as a brand and the plans for Kenya. Can you send to the show? Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank first you. things first, yes. Hino as a brand. Okay. Please enlighten us. What's Hino all about? Hino is a global brand um, and it's uh, the commercial arm of Toyota. It's a Toyota group company uh, headquartered in Japan in a city called Hino. That's where it derives its name from. Hino was officially launched in Kenya in uh, 2013. Mm -hmm. So we're celebrating uh, more than five years now. And uh, it started with the uh, Hino 500, which is the 9.9 uh, six-ton truck. And eventually we introduced this Hino 300, which is a three and four ton truck. What other model derivatives do we have of Hino in, in, in Kenya? In Kenya currently we have uh, the three variations. The Hino 500, which in a truck classification is a 9.9 .9 GVW truck. That is the total weight of the vehicle, but it is supposed to carry, depending on the type of body that is put on it, about six tons. And then we have the Inno 300. Inno 300 is in two variations. We have the 6.5 GVW and 7.5 GVW. 6.5 GVW is a payload of 3 ton and 7.5 is a payload of 4 ton. So 4 ton, 5, uh, 3 ton, 4 ton and 6 ton. All of them assembled in Kenya. Wow, so it's locally assembled, local assembled can handle the terrain of Kenya. Absolutely, tropicalized to be able to take the local environment. Um, it's assembled in Mombasa. We have a partnership with the AVA, uh, Associated Vehicle Assemblers in Mombasa. Okay. Kenyans are price sensitive. Yes. How much does it cost to own an FC500 and an FC300 truck? You know, it's very competitive. Uh, we look at comp competitiveness in two aspects. There's the initial uh, price uh, to the customer and there's the total ownership of the product. So we are very well priced in terms of the initial ownership or price of the vehicle. 
but we are extremely competitive when it comes to the total ownership of the product because we have uh, uh, extended service interval and service interval leads naturally to saving because if the intervals are longer then uh, you don't spend money on oil on filters and therefore the total ownership of that product which we absolutely are confident about uh, the most competitive in the market what is the service duration a standard vehicle that is operating within Nairobi, say, for example? Actually, countrywide, I would recommend that the service interval is 7,500. Okay. Yeah, so you don't do anything until 7,500. And if you consistently service with authorized outlets, you can be guaranteed that vehicle will serve you very well. Now Absolutely. For, now, for the viewer who's actually watching at home yes. and they want to buy this truck, yes. can they service their trucks in Nyeri, Kisumu, Mombasa? Do you Absolutely. Have the uh, to, as Toyota Kenya, we have the widest uh, network across the country. Uh, we have our own branches in Mombasa, Nairobi, we have two here and uh, Gong Road. We have a branch in Kisumu, we have a branch in Endonet. And coming soon, a branch in Nyeri, wow. as you mentioned Nyeri. But over and above that, we have authorized service centers across the country. As you may know, uh, we've been uh, supporting the you know, national police through a lease arrangement. And uh, we therefore opened service outlets across the country in uh, partnership with um, you know independent business people okay. so these are authorized service centers all the way from you know Kwale uh, through Malindi and Garissa Masabit across the country what new products shall we expect from Hino to give the audience a chance to be part of the family I uh, thank you thank you Trevor for that question like I said earlier Hino has the entire model lineup uh, we have uh, the light commercial which is basically the 300 500 we have the medium, uh, which runs from 12 ton to 16 ton, and we have the heavy duty. Now, in 2019, we expect to introduce and um, share with customers uh, the, F, the, the Inno FM500. Inno FM500 comes in two variations. It has uh, actually three variations. It has the cargo truck, which is a 16 ton payload. It has a tipper version of the same. And we have the Prime Mover, which is able to carry up to 28 tons. Wow. Absolutely. This is a huge, huge vehicle and highly rated across the world. In addition, we have the biggest of them all, the Inno 700, which is configured as a 50.5 uh, GCM. GCM is gross combination mass. That is both the trailer and the, 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 the truck type. And that, because of the way um, the axle load rating in Kenya, will be able to carry 30 tons. But it's extremely powerful vehicle, giving you a uh, horsepower of about 480. Wow. Absolutely. At so it, I, I mean, it's, it's top of the range. Safety-wise, the Nissan x train is king. It has a mix of active and passive safety bells and whistles to protect you and your family from all harm in case of an accident. Now, active safety components include electronic stability program, ABS, which work hand in hand to ensure that you do not lose control. But in case, in case all hell breaks loose, then you can rely on the six airbags, safety belts, and of course, crampons to protect you and your family from any harm. With all that, would you pick this car? Let's start with the price. Nissan sells this car at 5.5 million Kenya shillings with a 3 year 100,000 kilometer warranty. If you look at the rivals, they do have different specs, but check out this value for money edition and we'll know if this car makes sense to you and your family. So ladies and gentlemen, that's it for the X-Trail. If it doesn't tickle your fancy, then you can opt for the Renault Colios, some French flair and fannies with prices starting at 5.1 million Kenya shillings. If that doesn't row your boat, then you can opt for some German engineering courtesy of the Volkswagen Tiguan. With prices starting at 5.9 million Kenya shillings, you can enjoy the best of German technology courtesy of this particular car. Question is, which one would you pick? Send us your thoughts on our social media handles as seen below.
guys that's it for today thank you so much for joining us it's been a real honor and a pleasure at kazu big boy tribe if you have any questions comments or queries please don't hesitate to write to us on our social media handles as seen below until next week rah and drive safe